In today's episode, I do some maintenance on the van, go for a run around a lake, take in the sights of Lille and test out four of its sports bars as I watch Scotland vs Tonga and Australia vs Wales. And I ended up a little bit drunk. I might yet, might, I might yet go and try and find this Aussie bar. My name's Tim Tunnicliffe, host of the Amateur Rugby Podcast and I'm here in France to show you the entirety of the Rugby World Cup. I'll be travelling the country, hitting the fan zones, showing you the in-stadium experience and getting the lowdown from all the talking points from what is sure to be an epic World Cup. Yesterday, I drove from Dijon to Lille, caught up with the Hughes outside the stadium and discussed his clothing choices, watched England batter Chile, then enjoyed South Africa versus Ireland outside a cafe on the streets of Lille. Good morning and welcome back to another Rugby World Cup vlog. Sunday in Lille and this is the spot where I parked up last night arrived very tired after a long few days of driving and you never quite know when you're parking up but it seems safe enough and the metro station is just there the stadium's like a 10 minute walk that way and it's been a beauty to be fair as I say into the into the town last night for a few beers which has, it's been kind of missing for me this World Cup so far like a, a proper kind of night out in a boozer like, I, it's, everything's kind of just felt very tired by the end of the night and just, like, want to crawl off and go to bed. But I had a bit of energy about me last night. So I think the Ireland-South Africa game had a lot to do with that. Yeah, then grabbed a couple more beers after that, but not too many. But for now, we're going to go off and find a nice little spot to spend a few hours this afternoon. Found this cool little spot by the lake, which is just over there. Went for a run. Got some work done and even fixed this thing. Oh, done it. Who said I wasn't a mechanic? Right, off into town to go and watch two games of rugby. Scotland versus Tonga, which could be a cracking game. And then Wales versus Australia, which I think, I know I can't see it being anything but a real tight cagey affair, probably with quite a few errors. Let's go into Lille to see it. Here we go, van parked up in pretty much the same spot. Let's head into town. The city centre is full of huge, impressive looking buildings and there are Rugby World Cup reminders absolutely everywhere. When you type in sports bar in Google Maps for Lille, quite a few come up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a half of rugby in each one. Well, in four anyway. And uh, yeah, we'll see which one's best. This one is the first one. We're going Aussie, literally called the Australian bar, and this beautiful little green. Uh, but we're going inside in the dark to watch rugby. time from the Australian bar. 24-10 to Scotland. They've got their four tries. Bonus points secured. They just need to see out this game now, which will probably be fairly easy, seeing as the Tongan left winger, Tamopia, has been yellow carded on review, which I expect to be upgraded to a red. Tonga have been great though this half. Physical, obviously, but they found some real good edges as well, obviously. Charles Peart out fullback, creating a brilliant try for the right winger, Kata, who absolutely monstered doing Bur Van der Merwe halfway through the half as well. Thoughts on the bar? Yeah, good. They serve Heineken in a can in a glass, which I quite liked for five euros. And the atmosphere was good. You know, it was very much a, a lot of people having their first beers after a heavy night last night, I think. So kind of low key, but every time Tonga did something good, there was a big cheer. Loving the underdog. On to the next place. Okay, we've done Australian time for Ireland. This is the Temple's Bar. Bit of a play on words there. Let's get on in there and see what they've got. <laughs>
Temple's Bar, possibly the least Irish Irish bar I've ever been in. Neon lights, people. The staff were nice though, and beers were two euros 90 a pint. I'm not sure if it's happy hour or something. I mean, it must be. That's just absurd. Well, there wasn't much in the way of atmosphere there, and that Tongan certain red card turned out only to be a yellow, and uh, Tonga actually got back into the game with an amazing try from Big Ben Tabiafuna sneaking over from probably, I mean, it was close to 50 metres, I think. Quite outstanding from the big man. But that was as good as it got for Tonga. Scotland pulled away some excellent tries towards the end. Must be the old market here. By the way, that was the bar I watched Ireland, South Africa outside of last night. Tiny. And we've got a little bit of time before Australia kick off against Wales. So I'm going to check out a few bars and make sure I get the best ones to show you. And I'll see you there. Okay, here we go. Wales versus Australia. Crucial game, and we're going to watch the first half in O Scotland. Now, granted, hindsight would say probably should have watched the Scotland game in O Scotland, but you can't have everything. Now, both teams really need to win this game. Australia more, they're out if they lose this game, but Wales desperately need to win it too to put this to bed. So I just need to finish this beer that I got at the pizza place, and then we'll head in there. <laughs> half done Wales Australia what a game thought it might be sketchy I thought it might be difficult I thought it might be full of errors none of which could be true full of physical brutality and some great skill as well Wales winning 16-6 with a try from Gareth Davis after an amazing break from Jack Morgan but great play from both teams I think particularly the number eight Toby Faletau showing up with some incredible carries looking as strong as he's seen for a few years probably and uh, it's tough to leave there was a good atmosphere in there I liked it but we've got to get on to the next place so I'll see you there the last stop of the night is going to be the English bar Boo. probably a bar full of people that hope both teams can lose not me I'm not I'm not a hater I just put my head through the door and it's very quiet in there but might be a good atmosphere actually to properly watch the second half of Wales Australia which has been a corking game so far so let's get in there and go and find out Defy you to tell me you saw that coming. Australia absolutely routed. 40 points to six. As far as the pub goes, Queen Victoria. Oh, I mean, it's an okay boozer, but not that great to watch sport in. Zero atmosphere in there tonight. Well done, Wales. It's actually a very, very strong performance. Hugely combative. 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 I have to say, Gareth Anscombe did what he needed to do. He looked a lot stronger today than he did against Portugal. Maybe he just needed that game time. Anyway, I might yet go and try and find this Aussie bar or somewhere else but either way this is the end of this one so if you enjoyed this episode give it a thumbs up down below and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next one which will be the fourth weekend of the rugby world cup get it here or don't get it peace man i'm tired